Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's your girl, Belina B, and I'm back with another video. Hello to all my subscribers. Hello to all my new subscribers. Hello to all my subscribers that have been rocking with me for a while now. Hello to all my subscribers that have been watching my channel and I'm like, oh my God, I love it. I love it. It's so funny. And yet, she's speaking the truth too. You know, I try to make it entertaining, but yes, speak the truth at the same time because it's it's my truth but i do want you guys to please leave your opinions and comment down below now i'm gonna get started with this video this video is on strong mommy chrissy okay strong mommy chrissy did a video where she has moved into her house she's gotten her house the house is amazing i love that house that kitchen that space the drawers that um uh, glide clothes i love drawers like that my kitchen has drawers like that i love that but oh my kitchen is nowhere near the size of that kitchen but i love it i'm not a hater i'm a congratulator girl you got that house yes you got that house girl but mm, how'd you get that house girl girl you got that house them subscribers pay for that house <laughs> Those subscribers pay for that house and they finna pay for everything to fill it up because um, we know how uh, Chrissy get down. Like, Chrissy, Jesus Christ, like, you cannot keep, are you, you gonna let your subscribers furnish this house? That's, I mean, that's all I want to know. Are they gonna furnish this house as well? You know, take some pride and furnish it yourself with your own money that you make that to me would seem more satisfying than begging for everything from your subscriber i see in the video you said you know you're, you got candles towels rags dish rags sheets all these things from your subscriber when all along you had a place and was never homeless that's why i don't understand why uh the title of your video was homeless how are you homeless in an Airbnb with an upstairs and downstairs? Who's homeless in an Airbnb that has an upstairs and downstairs? You're not, you were never homeless. You may have been in transition or waiting for a place, but you were never homeless. And you're still putting that in the title, but it's your video. You can put whatever you want in the title, but come on, you guys. What do you guys think? I don't, I don't believe Chrissy was ever homeless. This woman has eight nine kids she was homeless but she was staying in the airbnb while she was homeless she went on a whole trip while she was homeless she left her mom with her children while she was homeless what you know no she was never homeless she was never homeless she might have went to texas to do some paperwork for the place that she already had but chrissy was never homeless her supporters have paid for everything Thank you to all Chrissy's supporters. They are the best. Hey, they, I mean, she has some of the best supporters. They will come out of the pocket for her. They will come out of the pocket. All she has to do is put on a sad face, you know, show the kids for a minute, and they are coming out of the pocket. And she's teaching Jasmine and Olivia uh, and probably that other girl, I don't do any videos on her, but probably teaching her the same thing, you know, or are they teaching each other? You know, they're feeding off of each other, this begging thing, this, you know, get what you can from people and it's, you don't have to work for anything. And this is what they're showing their kids. Like, you don't have to work for anything. No, no, stop begging for stuff. You guys don't need to beg for nothing for a couple of more years. We're in a whole pandemic. And you guys are freaking begging, like still begging. During the whole pandemic, you guys have done nothing but beg and make drama. During the whole pandemic, beg and drama, beg and drama, beg and drama. And the more drama is for what? So you can get um, more views, so you can make more coin, so... The drama is for money and the begging is for money. What will you not do for money? What will you not do for money? Like, this is crazy. Like, you pull on people's heartstrings and that's not cool. That's not cool at all, you know? 
That's not cool for things that you, some of the things you aren't willing to go in your pocket and buy for your own self, for your own kids. Like, and where are their fathers? Like at this point, where are their fathers? Are they really that dead of a beat? Oh my Jesus. But regardless, even without the fathers, like, you got to do better. Like from, no, you're basically using your subscribers. And I saw uh, Blonde Ma, shout out to you. I saw her video where it said you're losing subscribers. I didn't even check to see how many subscribers you had. It doesn't matter if you have 5 million subscribers. You're begging. You're begging. You are begging and taking from subscribers that probably don't even have it. Do you, um, this is to her subscribers. Do you see the house that this woman has? Do you ever think this woman was homeless? From looking at the house that she has there in the picture, in her video, go to Strong Mommy Chrissy channel, look at the video, look at the house that she just moved into. She was homeless and went into that house like that? Who does that? No, she already had that house. I mean, come on. Uh, Chrissy, her subscribers, I can't even get it out. You guys got to be a little bit brighter, a little bit smarter. And stop being so gullible and, and so manipulated. You guys are being totally manipulated by a YouTuber. You are straight being manipulated. And that's crazy. That's crazy. And, and you know, by the hundreds, how can the hundreds of people be crazy? Like, and that naive. I, I just don't understand it. Like, you guys, come on. You guys got to think. Like, she wasn't ever homeless. And that's crazy. Like, why? It's so many people that are really homeless that need handouts, that need, you know, that need a place to stay, a regular place to stay. That's, you know, her house is pretty nice. No hate. And please, 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 I'm not hating. The house is beautiful. I will say it again. The house, kudos to you for getting it. You know, kudos for you for getting it. But how you getting it, you didn't have to get it like that. But you know, you did what you did. Those are your subscribers, it's your channel. If hey, they like it, I love it. But that that's it's a cold world. It's a cold world. It's a cold, cold world. And that's just crazy. But hey, kudos to you. I I want to see how your subscribers are gonna decorate this house. I want to see how how they're they're gonna decorate it. Because I know that's who's going to furnish it. <laughs> it's going to be nice and uh, lovely and decorated by the subscribers. You know, which is, hey, which is cool. It's your channel. But, Lord, when are they going to wake up? When are they going to wake up? I mean, people do things for you because of the kids. But don't start using the people. They starting to open their eyes and see. They starting to wake up and smell the coffee. And it's smelling a lot like bullshit. <laughs> like, really? Like, really? Come on now. Don't use the people that want to help you and that want to support you. I'm never going to tell my subscribers I'm homeless and I'm not homeless. First of all, I don't want that bad karma coming at me. I do not want that bad karma. You women make up drama stories. You're pregnant. You're getting an abortion. You're having a miscarriage. You know, speaking of all three, you know, you guys make up these storylines, and that's bad karma. That's bad karma that's going to come back at you. You know what they say? Speak it. You know, what you want to receive, you got to speak it. And y'all speak so much negative, so much lies, so so much manipulative things that it's going to come back at you. All of it's going to come back at you. Like pretending to be homeless, pretending to be, uh, have domestic violence, pretending to be pregnant, to, pretending to have miscarriages, pretending to have beefs with other females. All this is going to come back at you. It's going to come back at you hard. You guys, let me know what you think because... It's like, this is crazy. All this during a pandemic. With all we got going on. 
Like, please, Chrissy, with your stimulus check coming, you shouldn't beg for nothing for a while. 500 per kids, you got eight of them, plus yourself a thousand, you know, not to be in your pockets, but you don't need to beg for nothing else. You know, furnish your living room with that. Or put some away for a rainy day so that you don't have to beg. Put some away for your rent so that you don't get evicted. So don't that you don't have to end up, quote, homeless again. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Thank you for supporting me and watching my videos. Y'all stay tuned for the next one. Bye.